Hello, I am Dr. Sigar Kanti, Associate Professor of uh, Mathematics, uh, Government First Grade College, KR from Bangalore. In this video, I will show that uh, how to uh, download Scilab, how to install Scilab and uh, how to work on Scilab. To download Scilab, uh, you must have a strong internet to download. Uh, so if you have internet, then you can go to any of the browser. I will go to Chrome, click on this Chrome, and here in this address bar, type as uh, www.scilab.org slash download. D O W N L O A D. Okay enter press the enter button so you will find uh, this type of the screen here we have windows vista 7 8 10 scilab 6.0.2 windows 64 bit uh, scilab 6.0.2 windows 32 bit whichever uh, your uh, system supports you can download my system supports uh, my system is with 64 bits so i will download this uh, 64 bit other versions are also here Scilab 6.1.0, 6.0.2, 5.0 versions are here. You can download any one here. I will download this one. Scilab 6.0.2. Okay. So here, if you press, uh, 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 click on that, the, uh, the file will download. Then you can see the uh, downloads at the uh, left to bottom corner. It is downloading. It is uh, uh, 180. 181 MB size, okay, it may take uh, uh, within a minute or some, within some seconds it will download, okay, it is downloading, I uh, just you have to wait for uh, uh, downloading this file, uh, 5 seconds, 4 seconds, okay, download complete now, uh, then we have to install uh, uh, the Scilab. Uh, for that, uh, for that you can uh, install from here itself, or uh, I, the file will be in downloads. You can go to download. There you can open, and from that you can uh, install. So I will install uh, from here itself. I just I'll click on this. Okay, it is opening. It is opening. Now it asks some. Do you want to allow this uh, app to make changes to your device? Just uh, uh, say yes. Click on yes. Then you will find this. The select the language to use uh, during the installation. By default, it will come English. Okay, I will keep English. Right? Then uh, click on OK. Then it is recommended that you close all the applications. OK. Next, I will uh, I'll press uh, next. Then here we have two options here. I accept the agreement. I do not accept the agreement. I have to accept. To download Scilab. I have to accept. I will click on this I accept uh, agreement. Then again, I will press next here. Again, next. Again, next. Again, next. Next. Now, install. The final stage is install. Okay. I am clicking on install. Uh, the Scilab is installing and on my system. Okay. It takes a maximum of two minutes. One minute or two minutes. You have to wait for this.
Yeah, installation is completed, completing the Scilab 6.0.64 setup wizard. Just uh, press on this. So, launch Scilab is there, as already this box is checked. Just you have to click on this finish button. Okay, finish. So, Scilab is installed on my computer. Okay. It is opening. Now, I will close all these. Are you sure you want to close Scilab? Yes. I will close this also. Yeah. Now, see this uh, shortcut is created on my desktop. From this desktop, I uh, will open Scilab. Okay. You click on this. It is opening. Okay. Oh, this is known as uh, Scilab console. Here, um, we can write the codes and get the answers. For example, I will write x is equal to say 2, I will enter and here we, we can make the um, font size bigger, smaller, who go to the Scilab preference, fonts, go to console, okay, here plain, uh, monospace plain, you, you can make this uh, little bit more, say 20, uh, okay, apply, Okay, right. Similarly, you can change the font size in uh, uh, sign notes also. I will come to sign notes afterwards. Plain 24. If you, if you are to keep 24 itself, okay, no problem. And here some board is there, uh, italic is there. Okay. Uh, the options are here. You can choose these options. Just click OK, apply, apply, and OK, right. Now, here I, I have typed x equal to 2 and it is printing x equal to 2. Now, if I write like this x equal to 2 and if I give a semicolon here and if I enter, now this is not printed here. Okay. So, that means here if I give semicolon, then we can suppress the printing of this x is equal to 2. Otherwise, every time it will be printed. As I am giving this value here and no need to see once again here. So, here uh, if I write again y equal to say 5, 6, uh, if I put a colon here, then again it is not printed, but 6 is assigned in the name of y. Just if I type y, then it will give the value of y here, y equal to 6. Just I will type y, enter, press the enter button, yeah, I am getting it is equal to 6, okay. That is if you give a semicolon here, then it will not be printed, echoed, it will not be echoed. Otherwise, it will be printed, the same thing, it will be printed. And here on this console, we cannot um, uh, save the files. You cannot write the, you can write the program, but we, it is not possible to save the files here. Uh, to uh, write the programs and to save the files for future is what we need to do, do is, uh, we have to go to sign notes. For that, I will go to applications here. Just one simple example, I will go to applications, sign notes is there. Just click on this one, okay, sign note is open. So, here you can write... Uh, a program. This is some a simple program. CLC. Uh, uh, this this clears the screen of uh, output here, and clear means this is the this clears the, the uh, value of the variable previously assigned. What I am doing is I am assigning pi to x x equal to pi, and assigning six to y y equal to six, and I am giving one uh, uh, this assignment statement z equal to x plus y. Just I want to print uh, this z equal to x plus y. So here print command is print f. Okay, here print f. I will write uh, z. So whatever we write within the double quotes uh, that will be printed. So x plus y equal to up to this is printed. This percent is not printed. So in this place the value of z is printed. So if uh, z is an integer, this this is an integer, then we have to do percent d. If it is a float, then you have to put percent %f. Now, here I want to uh, execute this program. For that, I have to go to execute is here. Okay. Execute. Or F5 is also there. The, the key F5 also executes. Save and execute. I will uh, click on this execute. Many options are here. Okay. I will go to save and execute. Okay. F5. Uh, key is here. You can press F5 also. 
Okay, if I click on the save and execute, yeah. Are you want to close the console? Uh, clear the console, yes. Right is here. See here, I executed this program, but output is not showing here. Where is the output? You have to go to. Uh, the scilab icon will be on the taskbar. Okay, here go to this one. Here you can observe two screens are there. So this is one scilab console and this is a, a sci nodes. Output will be in the scilab console. So you can, I will go to console. So I am getting here x plus y e is equal to 11. So this is the output. Okay. Thank you. I will stop here.